A father grieving the loss of his daughter. Police say the High Point University student was killed by her boyfriend and planned to dump her body in Tennessee. WFMY News 2's Jenna Kurzina has more on the father's heartbreaking words. 19-year-old Gianna Delgado's father says a piece of his heart is now missing. He also explained what he knew about his daughter's relationship with her accused killer. She's going to be missed by a, a lot of people. Ricardo Delgado. Gianna's father says he never imagined his daughter's life would be cut so short. As soon as he received a phone call from a stranger on Gianna's phone hundreds of miles away, he knew something was wrong. I was told that by an officer uh, at High Point that was uh, in, in charge of the investigation that was just going on, that uh, some foul play seemed to be involved. Michael Cadogan was arrested and charged in Tennessee after police received a tip about his location. When he was pulled over, police said they found Gianna's body in the car. The only tie that they had together was that apartment where he took my daughter's life at. Ricardo says he believes his daughter and Cadogan were no longer dating. High Point police say they have no prior reports of abuse between the couple, but all signs show this was a case of domestic violence. She didn't deserve this. Sharnessa Ridley with the Campus Violence Response Center at UNCG says violence usually isn't the first sign of an abusive relationship. This is a cycle of violence and the ultimate cycle at the end of this is going to be death. Uh, the threat of violence is going to happen a lot sooner than the actual physical violence. Ridley says for college age students, many notice the abuse once it starts to impact their grades. A lot of times by once we see someone, when they come and report it to us, it's not immediately because they were assaulted last night, but it was because I have experienced assault for the last two weeks or for the last semester, I am now failing my grades. If you or someone you know may be in danger, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline. That number is 1-800-799-7233. Cadogan is scheduled to appear in court on Monday and he is currently being held without bond in Tennessee.